Many breweries in the world take their inspiration from travels or great ingredients, friendships or ancient processes. And then there are some breweries that take their inspiration from confused and mal-coordinated but all-powerful chickens. Welcome to Pint Sized. Welcome along. Today on the show, we've got a bottle of Leon, a 6.5% Belgian pale ale from Swedish brewery Omnipolo. Now, if your beer sense is particularly potent, you would have definitely have heard this groundbreaking and magnificently eccentric Swedish brewery. Omnipolo flies up the lists of world's best brewery, world's best beers, world's best bottles, world's best brewery names based on godly chickens. And most breweries can't take their place at the big pub in the sky until they've collaborated with these crazy, crazy Swedes. Since 2011, they've been out to change everyone's perception of beer forever. And they're self-proclaimed gypsy brewers in the way that they don't have their own brewery. They simply find friends across the world and use their equipment and their ideas and produce amazing beers as a result. They're basically made up of two gents. Henok, the beer guy, and Carl, the guy that deals with all of the aesthetics. They're amazing bottles. To me, their most famous collaborations are with the Buxton Brewery, with their Yellow Belly, Peanut Butter, Biscuit, Stout, and their various collaborations with the uh, Dutch Molen Brewery. Today, as I said, we've got a bottle of their Leon. It's a Belgian pale ale produced at the De Proof Brewery in Loch Christie, Belgium. It's apparently assertively hopped and fermented dry using champagne yeast. Let's get this one in the bottle and see what this brewery is all about. So here we are, Leon, a collaboration between Swedes, Omnipolo and De Proof Brewery in Loch Christie, Belgium. Let's give this one a try. It's already trying to get out of the bottle there. This one's a keen bean. So here we go, as we said, this one's a 6.5% Belgian uh, pale ale. Lovely big bubbled combination there, clear golden. Nice fluffy head, not going anywhere soon. Really great retention on that one. Oh, spicy, it's just Belgian spicy as you'd expect from something of this style. Mmm, -mm. Yeah, fruity fruitcake, sweet malts, caramel. Oh, yeah, just like a delicious fruitcake, really. Mmm. -mm. Oh, that is, that's so smooth. My word, oh my word. That's smooth, oh my word. Oh, my smooth. Ah, oh, smooth Omnipolo. Okay, you've got chalky sweetness from some of the fruits there. You're getting pineapple, you're getting lemon. But is, the, is that chalky very, very bitter? Uh, very sweet as well. As soon as you drink it, it's, this, it's, it's a bit unpleasant actually when you first drink it. I'm, I'm getting smooth and sweet. And you're a bit like, oh, this tastes like I'm drinking some sort of weird syrup. And then it sort of all evolves in your mouth and you get bitter tropical fruits. You're getting sort of uh, that, that Belgian farmhouse-y flavour. Um, oh yeah, it, it develops like nothing else. <laughs> You're getting a very classic uh, Belgian style. It's sweet, it's got nice caramel malts. It's got that fruity bitterness. It's, but to me, it's nothing different on the normal style. I was expecting these guys to rock up to Belgium, just tear shit up and, and reinvent this style. But I think this one is just them saying, we can do anything, really. They, they, they're coming into the world of Belgian pails and going, we can make one. This is as good as any other Belgian pail that I think I've ever had. They fit the style nail, the stale nail, right on the head. This is just, I think, a testament that these guys really properly know what they're doing when it comes to beer. That's it, and long may Omnipolo continue thrilling the world with their eccentricity and extensive knowledge of brewing. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe if you like what you saw, and check out our Instagram, Pint Size Picks. We'll see you over there, and see you next time, nines time soon. Mm -hmm.